Okay, so Windows is starting up the first time on the SSD drive. Our complete installation. Well, this will take a little bit longer, but one thing I had to do is I uh, unplug the thumb drive after it went and did the reboot. It, it still chose this as the master boot drive. I mean, there's no uh, hit space bar if you wish to boot off drive like on a, a DVD. So that's one thing to remember. When it, when it resets, you need to go on BIOS and uh, either tell the SSD drive that it's in control now or simply unplug it. So I'm going to let this do its thing and uh, we'll come back when uh, it finishes and run a few benchmarks. Yeah, my phone's going crazy. The insurance guy's out here. <coughs> my cousin actually ran into my car the other day, so... Sorry for the interruptions. Okay, just rebooted on, uh... After finishing the installation. I'd like to record of how long it takes for the first time to boot. Uh, what I experienced with 6850 build was that, uh... Windows 7 actually kind of judges what kind of system you have and it takes a little bit longer to boot up the first time. Unlike Vista that just gives everybody a set profile, I think 7 actually kind of reads you a little bit. Well, that's a diff different little start. I have been quite impressed with 7. I've installed it on slower machines and uh, it's just way better. I've actually installed it on a Pentium 2 400 and it was actually usable. I mean you couldn't go through and click 10 things at once, you could click one or two. But it was actually an, a usable OS on a Pentium 2 400 megahertz computer. I installed a Voodoo 5500, the drivers they have third party has written this work for it. Okay, uh, my username is D. Next, I don't want a password. I don't want to do this right now. Uh, ask me. Central time. Uh, home network. Now, this is a little different than the 6850 build. They didn't have these steps. So the wizard has updated a little bit on the public build. What in the world? Why would they want me to do that? Oh, skip. Frankly though, the 6850 build, is the alpha build, was better than Vista. The, the, the task menu bar, it doesn't get all cluttered up like it does in Vista. Wow, that was fast. Okay, so I'm going to straight do a reboot. Let's see how fast it boots. Now remember, I didn't install any chipset drivers. This is fresh. Windows included drivers only. And this is again a 6750 Intel CPU, overclocked to 450 frontside bus, 3.6 gigahertz with 2 gigahertz DDR3 RAM.
quite impressed. It's quite fast boot. Let's see in device manager real quick. Everything but one unknown device has been installed. Which I already know what it is. But anyway, I'm going to download some benchmark programs and uh, we'll test those out. Still quite impressed with the shutdown boot time. Bam, it's in. And I'm on the internet. No waiting. That's what I like. We'll continue in here a little bit. Well, it'll be for you instantly, but not for me. <laughs>